A family day out that descended into a horror theme park tragedy. Cindy Lowe, Kate Goodchild, Luke Dorset, and Ruzi Aragi were killed when the Thunder River Rapids ride malfunctioned at Dreamworld in October 2016. Now the park's parent company is facing three criminal charges. The um, independent health and safety prosecutor has today confirmed that he has laid charges against um, Dreamworld Art and Leisure and that um, they are now before the courts. They relate to alleged breaches of the Workplace Health and Safety Act. Ardent Leisure is accused of failing to comply with its safety duty, including in relation to the maintenance of safe plant and structures, safe systems of work, and the instruction or supervision necessary to protect people from risks. So very supportive of his swift action in relation to this. It was a recommendation from the coroner to the independent health and safety prosecutor and those charges have now been laid in the courts. Ardent Leisure was the first to confirm today's news in a statement to the Stock Exchange, expressing their deepest sympathies to the victims' families and pointing out Dreamworld has taken substantive and proactive steps to improve safety across the entire park and continues to enhance existing systems and practices as well as adopt new ones. Each offence has a maximum penalty of $1.5 million, meaning Ardent Leisure could face up to $4.5 million in fines. The independent work, health and safety prosecutor says he doesn't plan to lay any more charges in this case. We respect his decision and we await the outcome from the courts. Shine Lawyers represents some of the first responders and witnesses to the fatal accident and says its clients welcome the charges. This will no doubt be a very difficult day for all of our clients. The amount of the fines uh, is being welcomed by our clients, although some of them believe that it still doesn't go far enough. There were four lives that were lost, tragically. Uh, and, you know, what, what price a life? The matter will be mentioned in Southport Magistrates Court next week. Kate McKenna, ABC News.